lo loads of people have done it. <laughs> I think you get loads of, um, what are they, like rad Americans. <laughs> all the far out dudes, they all, they all have a go. <laughs> He's trying to ride the motorbikes across, um, across water. But when you look at it really, all right, they are riding their motorbikes across water, but it's only like shallow puddles. And they're all like I-5 each other, it's all rad and gnarly and, and what have you. But we thought no one's actually gone for a record, just for, di for distance. So we thought that's what we're gonna do. 100 meters before, yep, just about to set off on the bike. 100%, dead de positive, everything was going well. No problem, we, we, all these rescue teams to pull the bike if it went wrong, we don't need them boys, I'm getting to the other side of the lake. No problem, no problem. And I just, I got to, I think I got to third or fourth gear, maybe doing 60 mile an hour, just at that moment when I hit the water. I just thought, Guy, what are you doing? Guy, what are, I did, and, I, and, and you think this is all for TV and all that, but it's not. I genuinely, up until that point, everything was hunky-dory. And then as soon as I hit the water, Guy, what are you doing? Guy, what are you doing? Over the handlebars, bang. I was just a bit dazed. I was a bit dazed. I don't know, I bet I was 20 foot away from the bike, maybe 10 foot in the air, upside down. But at that time, you couldn't, I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't hear anything, just that deathly silence. And I was just waiting for the impact of the water. For me, that was, yeah. You'd think, oh, he's only landing in water. I'll tell you, you try landing in water at 50 mile an hour. You know about it. I'll tell you. But still, we had a right good crack doing it. We had a good crack. We had a good crack. <laughs>